Okay mate, here we are. This is my 1976 XC Fairmont GXL. It's a factory 302 auto. It's had, from what I can find out anyway, it's had two registered owners, a father and a son, and it's only done 74,000 original kilometers, very low case. The car is original, apart from the wheels. It's got some hot wheels, uh, hot wires on there. I don't know what happens to the original wheels. I've tried to find some, but unfortunately I don't have any. And um, the other thing is the paint. It's just had a um, respray in original factory colour, which is called sapphire blue, metallic, and um, just a closed door respray because it was a little it had been sitting in a shed for 15 years with a laser light roof and windows down one side and unfortunately it had faded all the paintwork um, there was a couple of spots of rust in the front guards and that was repaired and um, so I decided to paint the car because it make it present a lot better as you can see there's no rust in the usual places um, down the sills, all those places like that. I actually do have photos, I took a lot of photos of the car before I painted it so that people could see that there was um, no rust in it before I went, that wasn't the reason it was painted. Simply painted to make it look shiny. So, here's the interior of the car. I apologize for my camera work. Now, unfortunately the, the door cards aren't here at the moment, they had a couple of little splits just along the top where the sun had got to it so I've sent those out to be repaired and they just aren't back yet so um, unfortunately it wasn't ready for me to to make this video so of course it has the GXL dash with all the extra gauges and everything and um, I'll just zoom in here show you 74,000 354 kilometers. There's no cracks in the dashboard. There's a little bit lifting here, but it's not actually cracked. Don't know if they could be repaired. Um, the door cards are being recovered. They're going to be brand new, so they should look pretty good. There's a little bit of staining in this carpet here. Some of these, I have washed it. Um, I'm not sure what that is. It's not water from the outside. I think somebody must have sat something there. It's grease or something I think, which is a bit unfortunate. Uh, I'll get some rubber mats to put down there. T-Bar Auto, sorry about all the crap. Got the usual center console. It had the factory electric brakes, must have had the tow pack fitted. Tow bar is still on the car. No aircon, sadly, and no electric windows. Other than that, I think it's fully option. It's got the original AM radio, so there's no cassette deck either. Um, I do have a stereo I can put in though, if somebody wants that. So, just have a look over the back seat. The back seat I don't think has ever been sat in. It's in mint condition. Floors are all good. Headline is perfect. Has the uh, reading lights there. I'm about to put a new windscreen in it because it's got a slight crack in the glass. So we'll make sure somebody gets a nice new screen. Here's the back door cards here. That's what the front ones are like, but as I say, being repaired, so I'll be back soon. Show you the back seat. Nice blue velour interior, matches the car. It's just beautiful. No rust down anywhere through here. I haven't touched any of this, this is how it was. I only did a closed door respray, so only the outside of the car. So this is how it was. Um, I'll just show you the boot. It needs a new boot to carpet. It doesn't have one in here. I don't know what happened to it. It does have the original factory jack. And the original spare wheel is under here. No rust in here. Anywhere. They are prone to rusting up under this window. So I prepared all this properly. And what I've done is actually put, um, I put a rust preventer on there. 
and a sealant, like a waterproof membrane underneath before I painted it to ensure that it doesn't rust. Same all down through here. You can see this material, they put on like a rubberized material, but it stops it from rusting. So just polish on here. So it's perfect up through that area as well. Being a 302, not a 351, single exhaust, doesn't have the twin exhaust. I do have a twin system though that I'll throw in with the car if somebody wants it. But you'll have to get it fitted yourself because you need the special bumper. So we'll just fire her up. Track for young players, put it in park. So that's a cold start. Sounds pretty good. Ooh. The car's going to be serviced in the next couple of days. New plugs, points, leads, all that sort of stuff. We'll set for 15 years. Clean it all up under here. Uh, there's a lot more that can be done. You know, I think somebody may like to pull the engine out at some point and clean all this up properly. But really, it presents okay. Nice. I don't know if you can hear that, but the motor's completely silent. So the 74,000 case, barely running. Everything runs very sweet under here. I drove this car, taking it on a three hour journey, and it was just beautiful. Come down the business end. Got a fairly decent note. She runs fine. Just walk around one more time. Don't know what else to tell you. That's pretty much it. Uh, we'll, it does need tyres. I can put tyres on. We're all going to come down to price. But these tyres are fairly worn. It's got no registration on the car. So um, it's going to need to go and be inspected. So those tyres I doubt will pass, so they're going to need to be done at some time. And down here, the other thing I've noticed is there's a kink in the bumper there. If you look on that side, it's not there. There's a kink there. I'm not sure what happened, but there is one there. Um, so she's not perfect. This here's had some spray paint put on. I think I'll clean this up and repaint it before I sell the car. The right bonnet. Tough car. Looks nice, goes well. Cars for sale, make me a good offer. And you can own it. Not many around with 75,000 Ks on it. Drives beautifully. Like I say, not perfect. It is what it is. But for an unrestored 35 year old car, it's in pretty outstanding condition. And uh, I do think it's actually one of the best you'll find. I'll just show you here the oil pressure gauge because it's very important. Ooh, better put some fuel in it. Where is it? So that oil pressure sits there. When the motor's warm, it stays the same. Doesn't budge, it's perfect. I'm pretty confident this has got a good engine in this car. So there you go. 1975, I think it is. Maybe 76. Let me just check. <laughs> You'd think I'd know, wouldn't you? Sorry, 77, 1977. Ford XCGXL. Thanks for watching. Thank you.